Good morning and uh, thanks for tuning in uh, to uh, another adventure uh, in the life of the wasp expert. Uh, I'm on my way to Phoenixville um, for uh, yellow jacket nest removal um, in the wall of a flower shop uh, in town. Uh, should be an interesting one so I'm going to be opening up the wall and uh, extracting the nest. Uh, it's October the 26th, the uh, last weekend in October. So I'm glad to still be uh, bringing, uh, bringing y'all some good, good videos. Um, and just, uh, I was just curious um, how many of my viewers actually um, have a side hustle. Um, as some of you may know, um, removing wasps, um, I enjoy it. I've been doing it for you know about a decade now. Actually, I have been doing it for a decade, um, and it is my uh, seasonal side gig. But uh, keep it family friendly here. But uh, I'm just curious to see to know how many um, of my viewers also. Um, have a side gig. And maybe you drive for Uber or Lyft. Uh, maybe you deliver pizzas. Uh, maybe you work, you know, part-time bagging groceries. Maybe you cut lawns. Just curious. Uh, seems like a lot of people uh, have a second job nowadays. So just curious uh, what um, you have. If uh, anybody does a second second gig on the side. Um, but anyway, uh, see you when I uh, get to Phoenixville uh, for this uh, yellow jacket extraction. All right. Thanks. Thanks again for watching. All right. Bye bye. It's a point of entry, and then up there. So it could be two nests. I'm not sure. Right. And is this door? Yeah, this door is yeah, locked. Can, you got to go around to pop it open. Okay. And the inside door is closed, so you can leave that open and go in and out. Okay. So open the door and you can see that kind of disoriented them, but they're going in through there, right here, and then the nest is probably up in here somewhere. Do some cutting. Upset now I got into the nest. You see you have that battery operated saw thing? Yeah. yeah. So I just pretty much pull, pull the trigger on this thing and... Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I'm hitting, I cut open the drywall, but then there's like a harder, I guess it's like the Tyvek or whatever. Still 
plate. down this way too. Be a pain in the ass so I gotta kinda well that's pretty tight squeeze too so yeah, alright I see you soon. Right, here's a shot of the nest. Still building actually because uh, some comb down there that they uh, just have some eggs in it. Queen cells. This species is interesting. I read an article uh, thanks to Anthony for on academia. He's a friend of mine uh, a lot of scientific journals on wasps but this species is interesting the German yellow jacket because they can Sometimes they can wait well into uh, October to start queen production, whereas other nests, uh, it was a nest in Maryland that had uh, adult queens hatching out July 25th. So that means that colony with July 25th, if you're going on about 30 day period from egg to adult, they started reproductive production, queen production by mid to late June. So anywhere from mid to late June until uh, late October, they can rear queens. So it's a very big difference. These are queen cells over here, if this thing will focus. So, you know, I got the temperature was like 63, 64 down along here, and when I got up here, it was like 60, 67 to 69 degrees, maybe 70. So they're still giving off some heat, but I think it's all within this one bay. And then down here is just, that's just some of the paper. There's nothing really in there. That's just cement, cinder block wall. You see, they're trying to get a piece of me. I got stung once uh, through the bug, but no stings yet. Hopefully it stays that way. This species is very aggressive. Any any yellow jacket once you get out of the nest, they're bitches. I would know. I love my work too. Alright, so. So yeah. Look like mostly worker shells here. I think these are probably queen right here. The males and workers are reared in the, the small cells. It's my hand for comparison, so it's average size nest. I don't know how far it could go up because there's like a soffit area, so the combs could go up. So, I'm not sure how many combs are, but I think this is the bottom. Uh, it takes about, well, it would have started like in uh, probably early May, late April, early May. And then they go until probably, this one would have been finished probably sometime in December because they just started building queen cells. So, it looks like it's got four levels. It was attached uh, the nest started on top of this insulation somewhere here and then they built down to like here. And they hit this uh, yeah there's nothing nothing in there that I can tell. And get down further it looks like it stopped like, it's like right here where my hand is. Time to evict. Time to go. You gotta leave, you're squatting. You've outstayed your squat. Out warm, you're welcome. It's like the winter time, and by March, it's like winter's like an uninvited house guest. It's like by October, these German yellow jackets are uninvited house guests. Been here too long. Time to go. Not without a fight, though, but it's like I've won this victory. So, it's my man, but it's paper there, not gonna hurt anything. So yeah, that's the, the void that they were in. Got it out mostly intact. Yeah, 
cinder block. cinder block. It's above the insulation, like the ceiling. Just kind of give you an analysis of the void. So, like, where's our house? Where's home? Queen's probably still alive because there were eggs in the, some of the cells. Interesting here, it's like they're trying to regroup or something. They just exchange food. Like the outside entrance. Kind of like five of them just kind of clustering together. Here. I did fog, so that could be the effects of fog or two. Why they're just kind of tipsy. See, I was one of the entrances, and I had another entrance over by this uh, the door door frame. All right, fog a little bit more, and that's it. Have a good one. October 26, 2019. Bye bye. This is about an hour and 20 minutes later. I'm finished. A lot quieter.